guys welcome back to another video it's your boy official and we are back again with another video in fact in today's video we are talking about camp most of the times a lot of immigrants ask me that official if i leave my camp or if i left my camp can i go back to the camp will they accept me or i am immigrant here in italy i haven't been in camp before i want to go to camp will they accept me official the camp that i am living the camp is not good i want to change camp so we are going to be looking at how these things work here in italy so this video is very very important guys always try to watch my video till end so that you will understand everything in that video and guys if you want the best app to wire money back to africa the best application for you is tap tap send that is the oga kota 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 so you can go to google play or app store download tap tap send register in your first transfer if you are sending money back to niger don't forget to use my promo code official niger in capital letters instantly you are getting additional five euro bonus today as i'm talking to you tap tap send if you are sending 100 euros you are getting 124,500 naira. you understand and you don't pay any sending fee or any commission so what are you waiting for download the application and start enjoying their high rate and now let's move on to the main reason why we are here today as i said before we are talking about camp most of the times a lot of people make mistakes they left the camp and they want to come back to the camp again guys if you are living in a camp here in italy i will advise you to live there till you get your document because once you come out and you start paying house rent that is where you will see that the life is not easy because in camp you'll be getting some things very easy and currently here in italy we have two types of camp we have the cars and we also have the spra now the spra is side so now the cars is very very common for you to get the spra or the side unless maybe you get documents so after you get documents then they will send you to the spra and it is not all immigrants it depends you know each and every one has their own luck so if you get document and they send you to the side then you will be there for six months so after the six months if it is apartment then you will continue paying if it is not apartment too then the camp operators will go and look for apartment for you to do what for you to be paying but in many cases the spra or the sai is for immigrants who are having documents already whilst the cars is for immigrants who have just arrived so now let's read this article so that i will explain the remaining one for you now if you are an asylum seeker or a holder of a form of protection and you cannot provide for yourself you have the right to be hosted in a reception center or camp for a limited time the italian reception system has changed several times over the past years currently it is made of two levels of centers which offer different kind of services the quality of centers and services offered as well as available spots vary across italy and unfortunately you cannot choose the center you prefer guys the camps are different sometimes a lot of immigrants contact me official they are doing this thing to me in my camp they are doing this things guys the camp differ every camp and the way they treat immigrants and they are not the same thing so if they put you in a particular camp and you don't like it very unfortunately you can't change now what kind of services am i entitled to receive in first reception center you should receive food and accommodation medical attention and support accessing national health system social assistance cultural mediation you should also receive a monthly pocket money hygienic kit clothes and laundry services note that the services may vary from center to center you know i just mentioned pocket money some few weeks ago some immigrants were complaining that even in their camp they are not giving them pocket money now i have never been a center can i apply for it and for people who are always asking that they have never been in camp they want to go to camp now for you people unless you get caritas maybe that place you'll be sleeping in the evening in the morning you leave in the evening you come 
and you sleep so that they will be supporting you with something small that is food not money you understand because in italy here it's very very difficult if you leave camp and you want to come back to the camp again once you leave the camp you have left the camp once you leave the camp without any reasonable reason you can't come back again now let's look at removal from a reception center things that you will do so that you can lose your camp right now removal from a cpa or a cast the prefecture may decide to remove you from the cpa or the cast if one if you left the center without a valid reason without authorization of the prefecture of the organization managing the center if you leave your center but then you go back to your center or questura immediately the prefecture will decide to readmit you but only if you can prove valid reasons for leaving now you know there are some camps you can't sleep outside for more than three days so if it happens and you sleep outside more than three days and you go immediately to explain for them with a valid reason they can still accept you now you do not show up at your asylum interview maybe the day you are having commission you didn't go you can also lose the camp now you can support yourself financially that is your yearly income is more than the social welfare check that is the six thousand five hundred and forty two euros fifty one cent per year for 2023 so if you are living in the camp and you are earning at the end of the year maybe your code is almost six thousand getting to seven thousand they can decide to remove you from the camp it has happened to a lot of immigrants now you have broken a serious rule particularly if you were very violent or if you keep breaking the sentence rule maybe you are fighting in camp you are breaking the camp's rule the rules that they are giving you you are not following up they can also decide to sack you from the camp you submit a retractor but the commission declares it inadmissible so if you want us to explain what is retractor we can also explain it here. The retirata is when maybe you went for commission, they rejected you, you appealed, they rejected you. Now you need to do retirata. That is, you need to refresh your asylum to see if they will give you documents. I hope this camp issue has been explained. Guys, all camps are not the same. What they are doing to a Mecca in a Mecca camp may be different from what they are doing to you in your camp. The most important thing is to get your document and leave the camp because you cannot live in the camp forever and ever. And guys, if you want more updates like this, try to subscribe to the channel, follow us on Facebook and try to share our video so that like this, we'll be giving you information ups and down. Until we meet again in the next video, please stay safe and say bless. Peace out.